Well, we are alive, but we'll wait until people start logging in. I'm just gonna chat. What are you taking a picture of? Oh, you're so Just me. Say hi. And here is. Hi, I'm visiting Michelle from New Jersey. So yeah. I'm so blessed to be here. Michelle and our, our star. Hi, guys. Our star. <laughs> We're um, just getting ready. Shada and I, who just pretty much got off the plane after like <laughs> 20 hours, <laughs> and I don't know what I'm saying, but we are. Also, we're going to have fun tonight. Yeah. Who knows <laughs> what, what will come out of yeah. my mouth. But you. we're going to show you all a couple of recipes, recipes right? Yeah, we're going to teach them how to make collard wraps. Yes. Oh, gonna... So do we have anybody online? We have three, two, three people. Can they hear us? Let's see. Hello, oh, Viva. Beautiful Shada, Sherry, says, yeah, and then Peggy. Peggy, Hello. can you hear us? Yes, okay, May, uh, let's see if you can type and make sure, and let us know if you can hear us. I think you can, I think they can. I think I can, I, I think, think I, I can, can. I, I think, think I can. can. Yes. So we're hungry. Well, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Yes. I'm hungry. Yes. Okay. All right. So let's get started, let's you guys. Let's get started. Okay. So for tonight for dinner, I'm going to do collard um, green wraps. I love using collard greens for wraps instead of using a tortilla or any kind of, you know, bread type of, um, I don't know, what do you call it? Wraps. So collard greens is the way to go. Now, what you want to do with the collard greens is when you first get them, go ahead and wash them really well. Don't cut off anything. Go ahead and steam them in a steamer. And then as soon as you take them out of the steamer, go ahead and blanch them in ice, in an ice bucket. And then just layer it with um, paper towels until you come back up. Now, you do wanna cut the stem that's back here. So you can either roll it with a pen and it'll flatten it out, or you could take a knife and just sear it. Remember back in the day when we used to fillet chicken? Okay, so now we're gonna be filleting <laughs> collard greens. Now, you might think that these are a little bit small, but it's gonna be okay because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna layer them two at a time. Also, if you find that there's holes in these, you can go ahead and layer it. Um, excuse me for one second. Let me, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need a good knife. Anyway, so the first one that we're going to do is a hummus wrap. And I went ahead and made as a bell pepper hummus, red Ooh, bell pepper hummus. Yum. And it's got a little bit of a kick to it because I put chipotle in there, awesome. chipotle pepper. So we're gonna take that. Now make sure that you don't overstuff mm. your, your wrap because then it's gonna make it harder to roll. So we're gonna put that here. Okay. And then we're gonna, so what we have, we have zucchini, we have um, Pepper. bell peppers mm -hmm. of orange and yellow. Oh, Michelle, can you get the flower, the sunflowers out of the refrigerator, please? Yes, we please. have carrots, shredded cabbage. Mm -hmm. We've got mango. Mm -hmm. um, no, sorry, it's, it's, up, it's up on top of the fridge. It's in a little box, it's called it's the sunflowers. If it's not on the first shelf, it's going to be on the second shelf. Um, Gustavo, do you want to show the food and let me go? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry. Um, here. Let's see. Excuse so, me. I mean, actually, this could also be for um, sushi. I mean, some of these yeah. feelings. It and definitely can. Yeah, but we won't be doing sushi. It's too tonight. high for me. We will be doing <laughs> wraps. <laughs> Okay, so, so here we go. This is what I was waiting for, for the organic sunflower greens. These are extremely high in nutrient. A lot of nutrients, a lot of protein, a lot of, um, lot of good stuff in here. So we're gonna sunflower. Sunflower. Really? Wow. This is what it looks like. Yes, I know. I planted sunflowers Ooh. in my yard. Did you? Yes. All right, so we're going to put wow. sunflowers in here. Oh. We're gonna make it all nice and so pretty. Sprouted sunflowers. So sprouted we have, sunflowers. We have some crunchiness and some. Wow. We're gonna add some carrots in here. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna add some. I 
And you know, we may just leave this as is and not add any more to it. But you um, see everyone, colors of the rainbow. Exactly, because what do we do, Michelle? We eat with our eyes. Mm -hmm. And if the food does, and then oh, yeah. you're going to wrap it up. Oh, I thought you were going to wrap it up the other way. No, you're ah. going to wrap it up like a burrito. Yes. That's why you don't want to overfill this, no. because if you overfill it, then it's not going to work. Look how quick and easy it. this oh. is. So now you can either, wow. if you want to hand me a plate, Michelle June, from up there. Well, okay, I have to ask the obvious question. Why do I see June at the end of people's names? June means dear. In Farsi, it means dear. So you're like, oh, instead of saying, so now dear John, dear yes. Gustavo, dear Michelle, uh -huh. we say, June, so but you say you say June at the end at of the, the first end. Name. Okay, well, right. Sorry about that stupid question. So now, oh, does beautiful. that not look Come delicious? Woo. So I'm gonna give Let one half. Mmm, mmm, mm, good. Give mm, good. me good. Now. Give me, give We're me. lucky to be here. <laughs> yes, you guys are lucky to be here. So. Go ahead and if you want to sample wow. Michelle June. All right, uh, yes, I Michelle will. Michelle June, let's see. All right, yum. Mm -hmm. Looks delicious. Oh, it smells delicious, yes. everyone. And you can see my hand. Mm. And it's crunchy on the outside. Mm. Oh, the hummus is mm. a-okay. Yes. Delicious, I love it. You guys, mm. this is the place and really to be. It's simple to me. It's really simple. Let me see you. Now okay. I'm turning the camera. Okay. Mm. Mm. We're going to make another one. Delicious. Mm. So tasty, right? Well, it's the, so simple. The, how much does it? Oh. Mm. You don't need a sauce. You don't need anything else. No, you don't. Uh, no, you let's, really don't. let's make one for mom. Mm. She's going. hiding. Mm -hmm. Mom's hiding. Mom's hiding. And you guys, you can put any any vegetables you want in here. It doesn't have mm. to be what I have in the, right now. This is what I typically go ahead and use. But you guys can do whatever you want. Now I'm putting zucchini in here. So why not? I just chopped up some raw zucchini. Add the bell peppers. Um, what else? You could even put raw uh, red onions in here mm -hmm. mm. if you wanted to. You can. Um, what else could you put in here? Oh, we're going to show you yeah. another another way of wrapping this. Put the sunflowers in. And there's then, so many options. There's so many. Exactly, Michelle. Exactly. So here we go. Ready? Yeah. We're going to wrap this up again. Again, we wrap it up like a burrito. Peggy is asking if the recipe for hummus and the wrap will be posted. Well, okay, so here's the thing. I don't have a recipe for the hummus, <laughs> so okay, tell you what I'll do. I'll go ahead and try to remember exactly what I what I did because I make my basic hummus and then I'll add the the red peppers from the jars. Mm -hmm. That's in that's in yeah. the roasted bell peppers. Mm -hmm. I'll put that in there and then I'll add you know either red peppers or chipotle pepper or smoked paprika, and mm -hmm. it's just by taste. I just right. kind of- I was gonna say, just by taste. It is by taste, but um, because they're asking for a recipe, I will write up a basic recipe and- Post um, it there on the Facebook post. Yes, it will be posted. Again, mm -hmm. there Look at you that. go. So if you wanna hand me that plate. We got it. Another round. Of course, the, uh, an avocado would be higher in calories, but it would mm. also taste. Um, we do have avocado. I was just too lazy to cut yeah. it up. <laughs> mm. Okay, I have so to have another avocados, one. you know, is a great addition if it's not a trigger. And, yeah, you know. absolutely. If you want to put avocado, listen, why not? Um, and this is so filling and it's refreshing. It is. It's delicious. And it's, it is really tasty, you know? Yeah. So... Here's another way of doing it, this. How many of you guys are familiar with forbidden rice? Yum, yum. Right? It's really delicious. Nutty so, flavor. It's got a nutty flavor. It's got texture. a beautiful hue to it, a beautiful color to it. It's high in antioxidants. And we're going to put that in the middle. So now we're changing it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Because okay? we can. Because we can, exactly. Because <laughs> we're here and we can. 
Um, and these guys are hungry, you guys. The mm -hmm. only thing, yeah. the only thing I have, like, I need to share with them. The only thing that I have fed Gustavo and Michelle June tonight for dinner is a big bowl of um, collard greens, steamed collard greens. So and they've grapes. been good and grapes. So you guys oh. have been good. You've had your your greens. Now I can go ahead and give you guys. Um, <laughs> we need the starch. The starch, yes, we, we need the starch. So now for look at that against the black rice. Uh, that alone looks like a picture, a piece of art. So for this, we're gonna add mangoes mm. because we don't have any sauce. The mango is gonna be the sauce for this one. Mm. Typically, you want a mango that's more ripe. So tonight, when we were cutting the mango, um, it's not as ripe as I would like it to be but I guarantee you it's still gonna be delicious with the mango in here. And you can add, just as we're saying, anything, like other, other um, mango is a favorite, but other, you know, fruits or... Well, be careful on that fruit you're gonna add, and I'll tell you why, because if you start adding like pineapples, it might be too wet, uh, yeah. and it might get that too soaked, so... What about papaya? You could do, you could certainly do papaya. Absolutely, you can do it. I just love the colors. I wonder how the persimmons would be. Well, that's because you're a persimmon. I know. You're I'm a persimmon fan. So when you buy the rice at the store, what are, what are you looking for? So I go to Whole Foods, and in the bulk section, they have uh, the rice that's called forbidden rice. Oh. And forbidden. Forbidden. And yeah. we're being naughty tonight. Yeah. So we are. Yeah. We are. Yeah. Like not to have, but mm -hmm. really have a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I've overstuffed this a little bit, but it's it's okay. I don't think you guys are going to complain, right? We won't I complain at all. So. No, you guys are are good. We're very easy going. I, I we noticed. see what's coming. <laughs> it, it's a nice treat to be a taste tester. Uh -huh. Isn't it? Yes. yes. And look at that. Oh, and it wraps so nice. Like, it's not breaking or anything. I wouldn't be afraid because I, I thought it was going to break. But may, does the steaming help with that? The that steaming helps. helps. So you guys, if you don't steam it and if it's raw, it might typically break a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So make sure you steam. And this, honestly, it's easier for your digestion. Yeah, yeah. To steam oh yeah. It. Now look at that. Wow. Look at those colors. Hold on, let's get it. Ooh. Look at these mm. colors. Doesn't that look delicious? And you guys can make these um, and save them for like the next day. You can, but who wants to wait till the next day? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why wait when you got it right here? So we're gonna do a few more of these. So you guys have any questions? Wow. All right. No questions, Gustavo? I'm gonna taste this one. I'm gonna taste this one. Mm -hmm. Mm. I think Michelle has a really hard job, you guys. Mm. Very. Mm -hmm. She has a very, very hard job. But you know what, guys? Somebody had to do it. Yeah. Do mouthful, mm -hmm. but completely delicious. That nutty texture against the crispness mm -hmm. of the veggies. No, it's my turn. And, and the sweetness of the mango. Really. Beautiful combination, Shaya. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad to be sharing this with you guys tonight. Oh, I know. You know? Well, we feel likewise to be enjoying it. So thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I just hope people will make these. Because I know I post when, when I make these online. I, I post it. But, you know, I thought I'd show you guys exactly what I do. Mm -hmm. It's not hard. It's super easy. And you know what? This, this is great to get the kids involved. Mm -hmm. um, you can have them chop up some of the stuff and then have them roll their own their own burrito. And you, you can put whatever you want in here. It's it's honestly whatever you like. Some I just want you guys to get your greens in and uh -huh. I want you to eat a little bit healthier. Someone says, is it just, is it also called, called just black rice? Yes. Absolutely. So mm. here's, and then just make sure you, it's tight. Okay. I really do it so nice wrapping it. So that may be the key because I was doing some raw and it was breaking apart. Mm. Oh, wow. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, I just thought Not I'd sure. share. Yeah. And oh, so you guys, just so you guys know, we are Gustavo. Should we announce what we're going to be yes, doing? Yes, let's announce it. Let's announce it. So Gustavo and I are going to be doing a Mexican Fiesta class. And we were going to be doing it as a webinar. So be on the lookout. We're going to do that on Sunday, I believe. But it's not going to be live. And we will um, post it. We'll make announcements. So I hope that you will join us on that journey because we're going to be having, get ready. Tell us. Line it up. Tell Tell us. Right, drum roll. So we're going to be having margaritas. Mm. Yay. 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 It's going to be a healthy, <laughs> health, okay, well, I can think of someone got really excited for the, for the margaritas. We're going to be having one. Yeah. He's Latino. I know. We're going to have healthy margaritas. We're going to make taquitos. We're going to make stuffed jalapeno poppers. We're going to have cauliflower tacos. And we are even going to have dessert. Mm -hmm. And forgive me if I don't pronounce this correctly, but we are having buñuelos. Mm -hmm. Did I what say it correct? Did pretty good. That I did pretty good? Yeah. That I did okay? You so did for the buñuelos? So we're going to have that. I hope you will join us. Be on the lookout on my page on Healthy Cooking with Shada. And uh -huh. it's been a pleasure to be here with you guys this evening. Very have good. Have a wonderful night, guys. Thank, Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.